Ira Epstein for Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, 2021, with your morning flash update. So, stock market getting a bit of a rally today, gold making some legs back. So the market has shook off Miss Yellen. I'm talking Treasury Secretary Yellen's comments of higher interest rates, even though she used the word modest, and she's right in what she's saying. The market didn't like her to say it, so the market punished the market. You're starting to act top heavy here in the Nat Gas. I don't know if the market's waiting for tomorrow's reports or what, but I'd be careful there. And now I'm starting to look at uh, still another leg to the upside. You realize in Brent crude, you're almost $70 a barrel. What a fabulous job the Saudis have done in jamming up prices and uh, fi figuring out a way to do it. Very stable today on interest rates. Backing off a little bit in the corn market, wheat stable, soybeans holding on. That's the best word I could use there. Uh, the dollar index down a fraction as currencies are waffling back and forth trying to figure out what to do in them. And we're looking at silver down just a fraction in the copper market. Well, it did get up and try to get to the 460 level, new highs for the whole move. In fact, we'll see what it does. You know, just because it backed off early on doesn't mean much. We had the mortgage market index come out today, and as you can see in that, uh, it was down nine tenths on the index itself. It was uh, down two and a half percent on the purchase index. Interesting, isn't that? And the refi was up a little bit. So people on every pullback on these interest rates, they're realizing that lows have been seen unless something goes on in the economy we're not ready for. It. That would probably be a COVID-related incident. Uh, ADP number came out with an increase of jobs of 742, and it didn't get all the hurrah because the market was looking for 800,000. Do not read anything into that for this coming Friday's monster jobs data. They're still hoping to get a number that's over a million in that. I have yet to see strong correlation between the ADP number and the jobs data. The Treasury Department, well, they did announce their refunding. I'm going to write about it. I haven't, that's why I didn't put anything here. I'm trying to figure out what it was. But it sounds to me like they're going to be about where they were, but they need Congress to raise their cap. That's always a political argument. You know, th this Congress doesn't get along on anything as the last one did it. Market Group at uh, 845 is going to release the April service sector PMI. That should come out about the same. That's the guess that they're, they're looking for. The ISM comes out with their April non-manufacturing data at 9, and they're looking for a slight increase to unchanged in that. So all in all, not a bad time in the market. It's been fun trading, I will tell you. I've had a ball. Friday was a terrible day in the past two days, including this morning, are pretty darn good. I, f I feel pretty good about these markets. They got back in. And, you know, traders will ask me, and I hear this all the time, Ira, you, you cover all this and the fundamentals and so on. Do you apply that into your trading? And my answer is no. I believe the chart knows everything at the end of the day. What I do do is I don't want to stand in front of a major report that can change the fundamentals, which will create havoc on the chart. So I know when those are coming out, I pay attention, I let the dust settle from the algorithm traders, and then I move into the marketplace. But we talk about this and a lot more as to how it works in all the research we do. I get traders asking me all the time, I'm not doing heavy in the grains or this or that. Our firm is. Our firm's a, one of the monsters in the grain market for research, we're well known in the industry. You know, times change and uh, we change with it, but we cover the options on futures uh, for the grains, the livestock markets, the soft commodities, the futures with it, everything you can imagine, reports throughout the day. If you'd like to see them and get a free look at what our customers get for free, we'll give you a two-week trial. You're not obligated for anything. Call my staff. They'll get you set up one two, three. It's that simple. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Welcome. I'm Ira Epstein, and I'm here to talk about my enhanced Bollinger Band course. Now, many of you have taken my regular charting course, and if not, you might think you know something about Bollinger Bands. As you know, Bollinger Bands are an algorithm designed to keep the market trading within it 95% of the time and on a chart it will offer on the top part resistance on the bottom support and the ideas the market will travel within them. We know that sometimes it latches on to that band goes up or goes down. Well how do you play with that? Can you pyramid the positions off that type of thinking? 
Well, I've applied all three of these into 13 different videos that teach you my concept of it. And from that concept, you're able to work with weekly charts and or daily charts. The 13 videos, each about seven minutes long. The idea here is not to put you in school forever, but to teach. Now, if you haven't tried my complete futures research, I throw that in as well. Whether you've tried this or not, I think it's worth taking a look at. I think you're going to learn something from there. That research, by the way, covers twice daily market updates for you and access to what I call window envelope numbers, which I think are very important when looking at these Bollinger Bands. The next part is a trial to our charting software, so you can make your charts look the same way that I do. It's that simple. Where do you go with it and how do you get all this? It's simple. You go to our website, www.iraepstein.com. If you go to the word education, everything you need is answered there. You can also call my staff. They'll be happy to help you get set up. I'm Ira Epstein on the road to your education.